me and my honey are going to go to this place called Kolachi Cafe in Phoenix here in Ahwatukee and they have pastries from Czechoslovakia so we're going to try it out okay I'll let you know inside so here it is they have all these yummy they have all the savory ones on top and then they have all the fruit ones on the bottom the fruit ones like I said are like a Czechoslovakian and then the top ones the savory are more like from Texas but they all look delicious I know this isn't gonna be our only time here that's the bad thing <laughs> very yummy well I needed some relaxation today and this candle I got from a while back from Valerie Parr Hill and it has water fountain on top that makes soothing sounds listen feels like you're in a spa have a nice day so I realized I never vlogged that I wore my uh, new Target spring dress today I filmed like a little clip at work real quick quick to show you like the full outfit but now we're relaxing outside and as you can hear Holly is giving me the, the lovely barking melodies so nice happy Thursday and it's my Friday Woo -woo, I'm so happy um, I have my headband on from Amazon which I call my Cinderella headband but it matched this so well that I just couldn't wear it. I mean, couldn't not wear it. This is from Draper James. I guess I was saying their name wrong before. I'm sorry. I'm horrible. If you are new here, just um, just know that I say things wrong a lot. And I'm not saying that I don't want to say things right. And when you correct me, I will make sure to say it right the next time. But just don't get too butt hurt if I say it wrong the first time. Because um, that happens a lot. Anyways, my little undershirt is from Amazon and my jeans are from Amazon too, which I love these. And my shoes are from Target. I might show you this in a, the full length mirror at work so it's a little bit easier. My earrings are from an online boutique that sent me a few pieces of jewelry and I actually posted it in a reel that um, I didn't really get to talk to you guys about it yet, but I will link them. They're really pretty jewelry brand, really. I just saw how many birds fly right over my head. I feel like it was one of my grandparents. Okay, anyways. Um. How cool are these, you guys? If you can't really notice what these are by just first glance, there are these little canopies that you put over your food when you're having a picnic or when you're having a barbecue out in the backyard, and it covers your food and also insulates it. Um, as you can see, so if it's hot or cold, it will help to keep it cold or hot. And then it does have some ventilation right here with this mesh and you can see through and see what food it is. And then it has like a little handle. These were found by Mama Bee, my mom. Um, she got a set for the whole family pretty much. One for my brother, one for her, one for me. Um, she's, if you haven't noticed, she's just like a QVC hsn person like she'll have it on in the background while she's working from home <laughs> so she'll she finds the awesomest stuff on there um so there's obviously a larger size and a smaller size and it came with a couple in the pack three of each but i can't wait to use these in the summer when we have barbecues outside in the new yard which i haven't shown you in a while it's looking real green and that's I mean, I think it's because the grass that we got was um, a blend of winter and summer grass. So we'll always have green grass, which is awesome. And our trees are already getting a little bit fuller. You know what? I'll just bring you outside. See, the trees are already growing. Holly's got a bone. <laughs> So usually every Friday, Chris and I have lunch date and we nine times out of 10 get Chick-fil-A because that's our favorite cheat meal of the week, I guess. We just love Chick-fil-A. So he actually sent it to the house because look, both pups are next to me waiting for the goods. They love Frenchie fries, right? But um, he had it um, delivered to me today, which was such a nice surprise since I'm home from work today. So anyways, love you, baby, if you're watching. If you're curious what the order is. There you go. <laughs> I love that he didn't forget the sauce. He never does though. Got Harley here, my little chunk of monk. 
Right, Harley, honey? Yeah. The good boy. He's going to be here for the whole weekend because my parents are away. <laughs> Did you hear that little grunt noise? My parents are away for the weekend. They're on a little Mexico getaway. I'm so proud of them for doing that because they don't get away enough. And we got Holly over here and Lucy. He's here. Lucy got the best seat in the house, I think. <laughs> so you might hear the dogs eating their dinner in the background, except for Holly. Holly has decided to not eat dinner, which is great. Sarcastic, of course. Um, we were going to go to sushi and a movie tonight for dinner for, I mean, date night. Um, but there, Chris had hit like crazy, crazy traffic on the way home from work. So he's picking up the sushi. So we still get to have some dinner together. And then we are going to still go to a movie. Um, I think it's called a lost city. The new like Channing Tatum and Sandra Bullock movie. I did put some makeup on, refreshed my hair a little bit. This shirt is from a boutique, a local boutique here, and I just realized I have deodorant on my shirt. Real life, folks. I'm gonna have to get some water and take care of that, but it looks like it'll be super re revealing, but it's not, it like stays pretty closed. Um, but yeah, it's like a little crop top with the jeans. And these earrings are from Kendra Scott. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So the other day, a hummingbird flew by as I was talking to you guys about the Vanessa Flair jewelry. And I just like had a moment because I totally believe in hummingbirds and butterflies, like being around me, floating around me and them being, you know, ones that have passed. So I had to have a moment and now I'm back to let you know who it is. So Vanessa Flair is the jewelry line. I love these earrings. You probably see me wear them a bunch of times already, these little butterfly ones. Um, this necklace is also from Vanessa Flair and this ring. Let's have it focus. I got it a little bit larger than my regular size rings, but they're 18 karat gold plated, um, nickel free, waterproof, scratch proof, and guaranteed for 365 days. Also, you have a 30 day money back guarantee with all their, their jewelry too. So you'll be seeing me wear lots of their pieces in the near future because I really love all of the pieces that I've gotten from them. The only thing that I might be like slightly disappointed in is the packaging it comes in is just like these little plastic sleeves. So it doesn't look very like classy and high end. However, the pieces are really good quality and I haven't had any problems with them. Um, and I've been wearing this ring every single day on this hand. On this necklace, I don't wear necklaces as often. I've worn this necklace only once. Today is the second time I'm wearing it. The earrings I have worn countless times because I usually always wear like the jewelry that, that is my staple. I'm always wearing obviously my wedding bands, but then I'll wear another ring on my opposite hand and I always am wearing earrings, but necklaces every so often, bracelets every so often. Um, but yeah, so I'll link every, all the information down below for you guys. Um, also, I realized that I didn't vlog when we were at Bev's, which is my mother-in-law. She made us chicken and dumplings this week and we had dinner over her house on Thursday night and it was so yummy and we had such a nice time with her. So I wanted to make mention to that. And what else? We have Har we have Harley here for the weekend and he's been doing really good. What else? We've been watching. Oh, we finished Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the season Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the series, I mean, and we really loved it. And now we're watching How I Met Your Mother because neither of us have watched it from the very beginning all the way through. And we're watching, we finished up This Is Us from this week and we're watching Outlander and... We're still watching Seinfeld, but we kind of cut, it got old for us. I know, don't crucify me. We love it. Don't worry. We still love Seinfeld, but it's not like the same as Friends. Friends still tops Seinfeld for me, but I think that's a generational thing. But anyways, I got to get back to editing. I just wanted to quickly tell you um, that I'm sorry I kind of cut that short the other day, but make it up for it now. Definitely paradise. This is like a millionaire's place. Just so pretty. The dogs are having a great time. Out on the beach. Having fun. Look at Kai. Kai! <laughs> He's so happy. Oh, he was so happy. He's so happy.
So since there were so many Mama Bee clips this week, and I know you guys love seeing them and you were making comments like you really want her to make her own channel, and for so many years I've tried to convince her to do so, but she does not want to go through all the editing and all the the painful hours of getting everything together once you film the clips. So she's like, here you go, take these and do something with them because <laughs> she has fun filming them for the channel. She has fun like interacting with you guys. Um, but she probably won't ever make her own channel because she doesn't want to do the editing and put in like the crazy hours for it. Um, but as long as you guys still enjoy seeing them, I will continue to use them and, and share them here on the vlogs. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the few clips that I did have this week and working extra hard to make new and big things happen for here on the channel as well as my other social media. And I really appreciate all of your love and support. So many of you have reached out to me and and like um said that that you're really excited about the new content that I've been posting on Instagram. And um don't worry, YouTube is not going to I'm not going to slack here on YouTube just because I'm really working so hard on the other social medias. Um, my plan is to have the blog back up and running by the end of the year. Um, and I know that seems like a really long stretch from now, but I'm hoping actually by summer, but by the end of the year is the most realistic um, for the plan that I'm looking to do because I'm going to start having all the recipes, all of the Instagram content, all the YouTube content, like everything on that blog. So you never have to worry about like, where do I find this or that? It will all be there. So I just think it'll be so much easier, but I'm working really hard on it. I just don't have an, a lot of time to commit to it quite yet, but don't worry. Big things are ahead. Um, don't give up on me. I promise that I'm working really hard for you guys and I hope you like what I'm sharing and more to come.